Um, Cindy Lucin, who we haven't seen for a long time. Good to see you, Cindy. Um, uh, says, when I try to have a discussion about immigration with leftists, they always bring up the idea that we are all immigrants and launch into a tirade about how the European settlers displaced the Native Americans. What is the best response to shut down that nonsense and drop a truth bomb into those murky waters? Um, tell people who call you an imperialist and a fascist and a racist and all the rest, when people talk about immigration, say, listen, it's very simple. Uh, I'll tell you what immigration policy I would like. I would like to have, I would like to have Mexico's immigration policy. I'd like to, I'd like to have it verbatim. Just that, there you go. It's done. It's over. Um, I'd like Mexico's immigration policy. I, I think if America had Mexico's immigration policy, we'd be fine. So what does that mean? Well, it means that uh, if you're an illegal immigrant into Mexico, it's a felony, you're immediately deported or jailed. It means that um, you constantly have to check in, that Mexican authorities have to know where you are at all times. There's a number of other things. But one of the things that it means is that um, if you are caught as an, as an, as a, just as a guest, if you are in Mexico and you are not a Mexican citizen and you are found in, involved with the politics of Mexico, if they see you at a protest or a demonstration, anything like that, you're out of here. You're gone. Um, so, uh, yeah, I want Mexico's policy. Uh, Mexico's southern border is extremely well patrolled. And here's some news. I didn't know this until I started looking this up. Uh, and I, in fact, this number is so shocking, I'm going to have to double or triple check this. Um, we constantly talk about how horrible and racist in America is for not letting all these people in, but Mexico has about, if I number, get these numbers correctly, I think they have about 400 to 450,000 people coming into Mexico every year illegally from Guatemala to the south. Of that number, they catch about 175,000 of them and deport them immediately. Here's the, here's the thing that's just, just plain shocking. Uh, if it's so shocking, I, I still, as I say, I don't know if it's true. I got to Got to check it out. Uh, of that 400,000 people that snuck into uh, Mexico, well, let me, let me back up. Uh, last numbers we had are either 2015 or 16. Uh, they were able to count, I think it was 2016. They were able to count, that's right, Mexico's con constitution forbids immigration policies from changing the country's demographics. Thanks a lot. Uh, uh, Bone can appreciate that. Yeah, I'll take Mexico's policy. And then they're stuck, by the way, Cindy, right? What are they going to say after that? You, you talk about the, the white European settlers displacing the Native Americans and the Mexicans, and the Spanish speakers and so on. Well, this is what the Spanish speaking Mexicans do. This is their immigration policy. I'd like to have that. Um, but here's the here's the number. In 2016, I want to say it was something like 326 people were dead, died coming into America either through dehydration or starvation or poisonous animals, many, many of them murdered by the people who uh, murdered and raped in many cases by the people who they paid a fortune to bring them into the country, the coyotes. So 326 people killed uh, in last year trying to get to America. And the number I saw, again, I simply can't believe it. The number I saw was this, the number of people who were killed last year trying to get into Mexico from Guatemala was 20 thousand people 20 thousand people died in a year trying to get into mexico you know it kind of makes you wonder our border the mexican u.s border is enormous the the southern border of mexico is tiny how do they have twenty thousand people killed getting into mexico on the southern border and 325 killed trying to get to America on this 2,000 mile border. How does that work? Uh, it seems to me that, um, excuse me for one second. Okay, it seems to me that um, that uh, we're not likely as uh, as racist or mean as as they as they want us to uh, think that we are. So that's what I would say, Cindy. Tell them you want Mexicans' uh, immigration policy, and then tell them what Mexicans' immigration policy is. Mexico's immigration, and um, see what they say.
because I think it's another one of those, like Bernie has three houses, uh, just a gobsmack, shut up, uh, game over kind of an argument, which is why I'm happy to be on this side, by the way. That means I don't have to cover things like this up. I don't have to, pre I don't have to pretend that I believe in the socialist thing and then have three houses. I don't have to lie. It's, it's tremendous. I'm trying to think of an example of that. It's like, you know, if Ted Cruz voted for um, universal single-payer health care, I would stop being a Ted Cruz fan. But my politicians and I are in a line, and, and, um, and I say one thing and get to do the same thing. It's tremendous. Um, okay, uh, moving on here.